It's a bass of gumwood. Is it? Yeah, they call it bass of gumwood. I thought it was uh, extinct. Until 1977, I was working as a forest guy. Then I used to check the rain gauge on the peaks. And then I had to go around, cut up all the other tree endemics. So anyhow, it was a hard struggle. Uh, we, I think it was 500 cuttings I took. And two root, but only one grow. Yes. And I had around uh, A and F around Scotland growing. But uh, it was very hard. But in 1990, a chap called Andrew Jackson came here to study the olive. And he found out the old tree on the peaks had 14 different kinds of fungus. Ten they know about and four they didn't know. And he also found out after this, the male part of the flower produced the pollen before the stigma is ready to accept it. And it's incaptable. So anyhow, we did some pollinations, like 12 hours after pollinations, uh, pollinate 24 and 48, and this staggered down the story. But in 1989, when he did came here, I had two seedlings from the old tree on the peaks. This one, and another one I had there. But we back I asked to put up the peaks, but I could see that one had fungus in it. But, uh, when in 1989 it was five centimeters height, this one here. But I notice now you can see they got the uh, fungus in it, you know. But uh, malice say it grow up to 33 feet in height. So we thought this one was 4.5 meters. But when we when the old 96 the old tree died, and we went there and we see how it tumbled over. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, don't don't. This way. Don't, don't. And the wood from the hybrid will uh, sink, the wood from the ebony will sink, and the wood from the red will float. The, the ebony got brown hairs underneath the leaves, see? It sticks out. Whereas the red wood got hangs about 90 degrees and got the uh, white hairs under. And we are the hybrid, they hang about 45 degrees and they got brown and white hairs underneath.